afternoon, people of the internet. Actually, let's like set you up because like I'm not like about it right now. Putting you on this tripod. Good afternoon, internet. Welcome back to my channel. I am back here with another video. I'm planning to go on the campus, read my book, meditate and journal, kind of like have like a day to myself. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. Yeah, but right now I'm kind of just chilling out. Like I'm giving myself like, okay, it's 4.46, right? So I'm going to give myself until 4.50. 450 like i'm gonna get up i do this thing where like i set a countdown for myself and like i'm like this amount of time no matter how i feel i'm gonna get up it's so hard to get out of your bed like especially like midday like you just want to like lay here you know like i feel so lazy all right so i've had this on my mind yesterday i posted a tiktok right it's literally a tiktok so similar to something i've posted in the past they literally took it down for like community guidelines for my minor safety. I was like, first of all, I'm 21. So I don't know what kind of minor safety there is. I was the only one in the room. I really don't understand. I have this theory. TikTok only wants like a certain amount of people to gain traction and like fame because like it's kind of like a pyramid. Not everyone can be on top. You know, you have the top and then you have the middle and then you have the bottom. So it's like really hard to climb up to the next like step. And like once they see like your video is like gaining like a lot of traction, they randomly take it down. I don't know, like every time I've had a video that like started getting traction like really fast and like was doing really well out of nowhere, it always gets taken down. Oh, okay, it's 4.50. Let's get it. Just kidding, we're taking this bag because not everything fits in the other one. Um, hello, what is he doing? Um, I have a dilemma I want to talk about. I got the second vacuum yesterday if you guys know what i'm talking about because i'm not trying to get demonetized i know if you're fully vacuumed you're allowed to take off your mask outside i want to do that but i feel like people are going to look at me weird how are you even supposed to know who's vacuumed and who's not vacuumed you know so like if i don't have my mask on like you wouldn't be able to tell the way i feel about like the mask situation now it's not kind of like a social thing so if you don't wear your mask you don't want to be looked at weirdly or judged now everyone's going to be too scared to not wear a mask all right so i'm here i always go in this particular spot but right now like there's a lot of those you know those like little white flower things these things attract bees like i'm not scared of animals like at all I thought that was a bee. Okay, so I'm not afraid of animals at all, but bees terrify me, literally terrify me. So like if a bee like comes at me right now, I literally will end everyone. I did mention I was fully vacuumed now. And so today is like day two. Literally, I have not felt so sick. It was such a weird feeling. Like I felt like I had the flu without actually having the flu. Yeah, no, I hated it. It was, it was a horrible feeling. Um, Okay, so I think I'm going to start with like a meditation and then I'm gonna start reading. I have been reading this book for the longest time. Like, I don't know why it's taking me so long to get through. I literally have read this book for a couple months now and today I wanna finish it. I want to at least try to finish this book. Okay, so this is my little setup right here. Um, there's my bag, the tripod. Uh, honestly, nothing too special. I think it's kind of aesthetic, not gonna lie, and yeah, I'm on campus. So a lot of you know that I go to a community college and I was trying to apply to UCLA. I was pretty quiet about it because I was trying to like process how I felt, but I didn't get in. 
and honestly it came kind of a shock to me because like the whole reason why I moved down here was to was to go to UCLA. I truly believe God has a plan for everyone. And maybe that's like not his plan for me. And honestly, like I kind of like I was kind of relieved because I used to go to UC Davis and I was in the quarter system at Davis. And for those of you who don't know, UCLA is a quarter system too. In Santa Monica, like I have semester system and I've been like performing really well as a student in Santa Monica. I believe that's because I'm on semester system and not quarter system. I am going to finish my degree fully online. I'll keep you guys updated, but there's a couple schools. It's kind of upsetting because like, I really was hoping to get the college experience again, but I know I got that like freshman, sophomore year. So like, I'm not really that upset. I'm not gonna be like a normal college student again. Something I've been really focused on is I know I wouldn't have pushed myself in social media anymore if I was in the quarter system because literally I was dying. I was straight up dying in the quarter system. Like I had like no time to do anything. I barely had time to eat. So like why did I think I would be happy going back into the quarter system? There's like a plan for everyone and I guess UCLA is not for me and that's completely okay. And I have like a love-hate relationship with UCLA now because every time I would come on campus I'd be like manifesting that I'd be coming here but now I feel kind of like out of place and annoyed so but I mean, if I'm on online school, I guess everywhere is my campus, right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm actually losing it. Oh my God, y'all. See, I spotted a bee. There it is. I swear these things are like bee magnets. Oh my god, this one is so close to me. It literally knows what it's doing. Yeah, I'm actually gonna lose it if I get stung, so like, not the move right now. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was kind of short-lived. It was really, really what I needed though. It got cold out of nowhere. I don't know what's up with the weather. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's a squirrel. Oh my God. Wait, that's so cute. Wait. He's eating Chick-fil-A. 